Today we're going to go ahead and look at comparing and ordering numbers, and we're going to be talking about whole numbers. So we're not talking about 2.5, we're not talking about 3.3, we're not talking about 4.7, but we're talking about the whole numbers, and we're not talking about negative numbers either. We're talking about whole numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 1, 763,243, etc. So when we are talking about comparing numbers, what we're talking about is this. 8 is less than 12. 8 is less than, again, this is red, is less than, is less than. Or 9 is greater than, 9 is greater than 5. 9 is greater than, that is red, is greater than. Read that number sentence for me again. 8 is less than 12, or 9 is greater than 5. Again, that is comparing. And when we are ordering numbers, we're thinking about things that are least to greatest or greatest to least. Again, most common mistake, most common mistake is for students to mix up that least to greatest or greatest to least. And so when we're going to list numbers, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to put a semicolon in between those numbers that we are listing. So this is a list of numbers that are from least to greatest. Again, the common mistake is to accidentally put things from greatest to least when you're supposed to put them from least to greatest or vice versa. When you are comparing numbers, it is really, really important about place values. So this 3 is worth 300. So we already know that this number is 378. There's no hundreds here. This 2 is only worth 20. 378 is what? 23. 378 is what? 23. Ideally, you know that it's supposed to be greater than. And then so we have greater than. And then so this here goes greater than. So this, the bigger part here back towards that number there, that's the greater than symbol. Again, we can't just compare the 6 and the 1 because they are not worth the same thing. That 6 is in the hundreds place. The 6 is worth 600, whereas this 1 is worth 1,000. And if we even read the numbers 683, we always want to read that. Whatever symbol we end up putting, we always want to read it over to make sure it looks right, sounds right. 683 is less than 1,625. Think about that last one for yourself. Think about what it is that we said. What symbol are you going to put in there? Hopefully you put that symbol in there for yourself. Read that back for yourself. The whole number sentence. 9,073 is less than 10,261. All right, it is time for you to try. It is time for you to try. And what you're trying here, copy these down, and you go ahead and put that symbol in there. Do you think they are less than? Do you think they are greater than? Or do you think they are equal? Do you think that they are equal? Go ahead and hit pause. Hit pause. Did you come up with all of those greater than? 16,832 is greater than 9,764. This one right here was already worth 10,000, which is already bigger than this here. Or the 16 in the thousands period is already 16,000 is bigger than 9,000. Don't even have to look at the ones period at that point. 82,000 in this period here is the same as this 82,000 right here. 709 is bigger than 631. That 7 is bigger than that 6. 43,068 is a lot bigger than 9,976. Let's go ahead and try a few more. And this, again, are we comparing or ordering numbers? We are comparing, correct. Go ahead and copy them down and then hit pause. So you can pause it and copy them down. Ideally, you came up with these answers right here. You got a less than, a less than, and a greater than. Again, read it. 610,328 is less than 613,972. We had that 846,000 right here was already less than the 850,000 there. 7 compared with, huh, there's nothing there. That's why 700,000 already was bigger than this number right here, which is less than 100,000 already. Alright, go ahead and copy down this problem. Copy down this problem. We're ordering from 
least to greatest. And then those numbers there, you'll notice that there is a semicolon in between each of those numbers. You make sure to copy this down correctly and copy down the problem correctly. And then go ahead and solve the problem. Solve the problem. Let's see if you can do this before I even show you as to what to do. See if you know enough about place values. See enough you know about ordering them from least to greatest to go ahead and find that first number. I'll just have you write down that first number. Hopefully you wrote down 87,296. At that point, we're going to go ahead and take a look at our other numbers there. Are there any other numbers that are around 87,296 that have that same number of digits inside of that place value? We've got 97 here, so we'll go ahead and write 97,532, and then we have ordered those. Then at this point, we're just back to very similar to those comparing numbers, where we're trying to compare as to which one is smaller, which one is bigger, which one is smaller, which one is smaller of those two? Correct, 409,250 is smaller. And again, you'll notice that I am putting semicolons in between those as our space holders. And then the other thing that you'll need to do before you move on to any other problem is to always make sure that you have listed each and every single one of those numbers that was originally given to you and you have listed them correctly. Then, think also, if it's reasonable, if this is from least to greatest, does it go 87,286, then 97,532, then 409,250, and then 432,708? It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes sense. And that way you can go ahead and move on. I'll give you one to try on your own. Alright, this is your problem right here. Go ahead and copy it down, and then hit pause. Do be careful, it says greatest to least this time. It says greatest to least. And do make sure that you copy down those numbers correctly. Go ahead and order them from greatest to least yourself. Order them from greatest to least yourself. And I did ask you to hit pause. In a way, what you're doing... In a way, what you're doing is you're going ahead and you are comparing each of these numbers with all the other numbers. 547,276, 578,974. That's smaller. Is there anything that is even bigger than the 578 then? And the 578,000, 602,000 is bigger. 602,000 is bigger. And 602,000 being bigger, what we're going to go ahead and do there is we'll go ahead and list that one there first then. What comes next? What came next? 578,974 came next. What came after that? Came after that? Let's see. 547,276. And finally, we've got that 99,053. Gonna show you another strategy and another approach. Sorry about the little pause right there. All right, here's your other strategy and your approach. And then so what we're going to do is we're going to use this as a workspace. And then we're going to go ahead and line up the digits for each of those place values. And then so the 4 again was in the 100,000s place. The 3 was in the 10,000s place. The 9 was in the 1,000s place. We'll use this comma to help us as well. So we have 251 in our 1s period, for instance. So the next number, 87,295. And again, this is our workspace, and this is just another strategy, another approach, especially if you're finding that you're not able to do this, not able to do this, that you need another strategy. So we're going to go ahead and list out that other number, 407,297, and we'll list that last number. And again, we're listing it vertically, and we're making sure to line up those place values this way. This way, what we can do at this point, now that we have them listed vertically, we first look at this and make sure, okay, it's least to greatest. And if we go least to greatest, and we're looking at these numbers here, huh, really what we should have right here is a zero. Is a zero, if we were thinking about that there, because there is a zero in that um, hundred thousands place for 87,295. So that is the number that we're going to end up writing first that we'll end up writing first.
or we're going least to greatest. At that point, we've just got one, two, three more numbers to look at from least to greatest. What comes next? Four, four, and five. Four, four, and five. In this case, we got two fours. Three or zero is three or zero less. The zero is less, so 407,297 is less than 439,251. Um, most teachers, no, including me, will want to make sure that you rewrite each of those numbers all the time. None of this, okay, well, this one comes first, this one comes second, this one comes third, this one comes fourth, etc. So I do not want to see that. Please don't do that. Don't do that. And then so what we had over here from least to greatest again, we had 87,295. We had 407,297. And then we had 439,251. And then finally we had this last number. And read it while I write it. Right, 502,731. All right, I would like you to copy this down for yourself. Hit pause and then go ahead and work on it. Again, be very careful when you are ordering, when you're ordering these. Make sure that you have all of them written down correctly and that your answer is reasonable. Hit pause. That there is the answer there. 190,506, then 103,590, and then 97,000 is still bigger than 94,000. Ideally, I wrote those numbers down correctly, 97,251 and 94,209. Again, use this strategy and approach. If you need to put them up and down to line up those place values, go ahead and do it to get that right answer. And so now you know how to order numbers or how it is to compare numbers when you have something like 97,251 is bigger, is bigger is greater than 94,209. Good work today.